Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com, January 29th, 2018. Let's take a look at markets here. We have about two and a half hours before the close of the session. What I want to do in this video is show you what I'm looking at and in the description of the video or in the executive summary for Mwadet.com subscribers, I'm going to include some ideas. These ideas are going to be probes or maybe one, one probe. I'll see. I got a couple of ideas, but I might decide one is good enough. All right, so if we were logically expecting this market to pull back at some level, we have the look that could potentially be where the market starts pulling back. Reason is we talked about this improvement in prices, declining technical strength, and more importantly from my vantage point, it's the nature in which we pretty much made this movement here uniform action above 69.1 and back below it so that starts setting that starts setting the stage for what could be a pullback but it is very early All right gotta be very careful around here because a strong market can stay strong indefinitely we can see for the dow on the hourly now, we continue making this improvement hour to hour. And again, we have that negative divergence. So if we were looking for any reason to start probing the market for short opportunities, at least to see whether the market has the appetite for lower prices, this is what we want. We would want to see. And of course, we can see that now. And if this market is to see a substantial drop, the first order of business that the bears have to do is break this trend line. They have to break that trend line first and foremost if there's going to be any meaningful drop. Now, take a look here at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ on the hourly, just as we saw with the Dow and the S&P 500. Same type situation here. We had an improvement in prices at the end of last week. It was Friday. But we failed to move above 69.1%. And that sets the stage for negative divergence. Now, of course, we know that on the daily, weekly, and monthly, monthly, weekly, daily, all have the RSI above 69.1, which means that as long as we have this very strong monthly, weekly, daily, the bulls are still in control. But, because of the size of the big move lately, there's going to be a pullback somewhere. And it's going to start with negative divergence on the smaller time frames. And that's why I'm saying the smaller time frames right now are giving us that look that, yes, now we have the setup visually for a potential pullback. So what I'm going to do, take a look at the description of the video or in the executive summary, I'm going to have probably one short idea just to probe the market. If that short idea fails, then we know that that probe was telling us the market is not ready to drop. If that probe on a short side starts yielding results, then we can start seeing that the market is now in, in you know, potentially starting to look at the downside possibility. So take a look. I'm going to, I'm still looking for some ideas. I have a lot of ideas actually on the, on the short side. But of course, I cannot go recommending short ideas right now because the market is very strong. I have to be very careful. So what I'm going to do, if you want to take that idea, we can watch it. Just You don't have to take any action. We can watch this probe to see what happens. If the probe is successful on the downside, then now we can start being a little bit more aggressive, finding short opportunities. Eric Mwadith, Mother com. As always, good luck. Peace and correct blessings. I am out. Mwah.